cover your belly button. Whew. Oh my gosh! You want to see what's inside some Japanese lucky bags? Me too. Don't wait for tomorrow. What is up, everybody? I uh, have got some super fun stuff today. I hope. Uh, I bought some lucky bags from Japan. Uh, so if you don't know what a lucky bag is, every year in Japan, it was like my favorite day because every year on New Year's Day, that means like January 1st of every year, all the stores all around Japan would have lucky bags. It was the best. And basically a lucky bag it was anywhere from like a clothing store to a grocery store. They would like take a bag and they would fill it up with stuff and it would be like surprise stuff. Like you didn't know it was in it, but you knew that it was gonna be worth the money. So you would pay like anywhere from $5 to like a hundred bucks and uh, whatever you were getting would be worth more than whatever you paid. But it was a surprise and it was awesome. And I would buy like clothes for a little squish and I would buy toys and I would buy amazing stuff. The toy stores had the best stuff. Here's the deal. I ordered a 2021 lucky bag from Picnic Harajuku. Now, Picnic was the coolest squishy store in Harajuku, Tokyo. So I ordered and it got sent to me this awesome lucky bag for 2021. Uh, and I'm so excited. I have not opened it. I don't know what's in it. But also just for comparison's sake, I have like a few of these. These also came from Picnic. These are their like um, year round lucky bags. So all year long, you can buy like a surprise bag and uh, there's a few things in it. Obviously it's much, much smaller. Uh, and we're gonna see like, we're just gonna do a little comparison, see which is better. You can get these all year long. I think these were like five bucks. This one was about $25, I think is what? 2,500 yen. I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm obviously <sighs> parched. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna open the big one first because I can't wait to get in it. Every year, uh, come New Year, the New Year, we would go out on January 1st just to get lucky bags. I'm so excited, you guys. Yeah! And we would spend all day going to different stores. And like I said, I mean, there were lucky bags that were like full of socks. They're called, in Japanese, hukubukuro. <laughs> that means? Lucky bag, or they're sometimes called happy bags. Does that say? It doesn't say on here. Alrighty. Okay, so first thing first on top is some foif. I'm like showing it to my monitor, like they can. It's foif. This is a. Uh, it says it's like a fluffy cloud. It is cloud slime. So much stuff in there. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, and we would also get like lucky bags. I mean, sometimes you just get them from the grocery store. Like they would just have. Not groceries usually, but a lot of times like saran wrap and stuff. Oh, <laughs> derp. <laughs> There's a little spot. It smells weird. Uh, it's a little bit crumbly. Oh boy. It seems real crumbly. I wonder if it got that way in transit. Actually, it just needed squishing. So this is just fluffy cloud slime. We have stuff like this here in the U.S. I can't really smell it. I don't know if it's supposed to be scented. So, fluff, that's cool. I've actually had this stuff before, but this is, I think, Picnic Harajuku's actual thing. I think, I think that's a pretty good name for Klaus Klein. Fluff. What? It says fluff sweets. Like, I don't, this is a little, see, you can see it's much bigger. It's a little tub of fluff, but it says it's blueberry cupcake. I guess this one is going to be scented. This one is not smart. Yes, it does. It smells like blueberries. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at how it came out. I don't know if it's any better. I don't know. This is not my favorite kind of slime. It's like this cotton candy type texture and it's, it's all right. I mean, you know, that we have stuff like this here too. So it is what it is, but it smells amazing. Okay, I'm so excited. There's big things and little things. What is this thing? Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, that's a hairbrush, you guys. Look how cute it is. So there's not only squishies and stuff in here. I miss Tokyo. I miss Japan. Ah, look at the little, it's got like, <laughs> cute. It's got like a glitter charms. I don't know. She's so cute. 
This little character is Picnyang. It says so right there. Picnyang, like a little, a little fluffy, squishy kitty. Oh, I'm not gonna brush my curls out. She's super cute. I'll give that a little squish. She has super long hair. I found my first squishy in the squishy happy lucky bag. Holy smoke. It's very like pepperminty smelling. This is this. This is Picnyan's the character and this is Picnyan the squishy. Oh, it's an Orby squishy and it's really, really good. And it's super, super duper scented. Oh, it's so darn cute. Okay, I see a really big thing, so I wanna get out. I'm getting so much Picnyan stuff. Oh my gosh, it looks exactly like this one is so cute. I'm smelling everything. I don't even know if it's scented. I just, it's like, that's the way I address the world. Let me smell you. Okay, this is, it's a big Picnyan. It's super cute. I don't know that these guys have names outside of just Picnyan, but he's really, really cute. He's, I think he's the exact same as this one. There are different ones depending on the color. And I think he's the exact same as this one with his little bow tie. Oh, this bag, oh my gosh. I thought maybe I just got a few things. Can you even see? It's so much stuff in there. What? Oh, oh. I haven't ever had one of these. It says it is a Picnyan Mochipeta Squeeze. Picnyan, oh, it's got the name of my little blue one. His name is Akuo. That's not a great name. Whatever. I have to smell it. it. Doesn't smell good. Oh, it's like a little bread loaf. You guys, it's really pretty pastel rainbow. And she's so cute. Look at her little heart. And she is a slow rising foam squishy. So pretty. Oh, that's super cute. I don't have her. Why am I smelling everything? I don't know. I have had one of these. Uzumaki candy squeeze. I'm not gonna open it. It's just a little squishy on a stick because it's supposed to look like candy. It, it does. I mean, these tiny little squishies are not the best, but what you do is you like put them on your bag and got a cute little charm. Oh gosh, there's so many squishies. It looks like a little, how can you even see? I'm blue, it's blue. It looks like a little perfume bottle. Oh, yes it is. It's the same, it's the same scent as this one. They're not always scented the same. It's kind of minty smelling. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Can you guys see the, oh, it's super, super gorge. I love it. It looks like a little perfume bottle and it's it's got like stars? Yes, stars. Oh, that's really cute too. 25 bucks, this was so worth it. Let's don't talk about what the shipping cost. Ah, cute! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, you guys! Okay, it's a bread squishy, a foam squishy. I just want you to look and the name of the character on it. Overaction Rabbit. That is me! Overaction Rabbit. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it printed on there or is it just on the bag? <gasps> Look at Overaction Rabbit. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's so squishy. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Get this out of my face. It's amazing. Guys, I've had a lot of bread squishies. I don't know if I've ever had any as good as Overaction Rabbit. Oh, this is the best day. It says, oh, I actually, I follow Picnic Harajuku on Instagram. And so I've seen these. I am so happy to get my hands on one. It's called the Bus Squeeze. <laughs> Bus Squeeze. And it, it keeps telling me not to eat it. They don't know me. So it's supposed to look like a little cheesecake. Not an American cheesecake but a different cheesecake. <gasps> Look, oh, it got messed up. Ugh, they don't smell good. Look how cute it is though. It reminds me of those like viral cloud breads on TikTok. Why do I keep smelling it? I don't know. Oh, it's very squishy. Man, they have good squishies. That's really, 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 really a good squishy. Okay, it does have a smell. It's got, it's got a weird cheesecake smell. Not, it's not good. It's not good, okay? <laughs> they went for something there and they should have just left that well enough alone. Elone? Have you ever said a word before? You're not sure if it's a real word. I'm pretty sure Elone is not real. All right, what do you think of my happy bag, my lucky bag so far? I am loving it. There's a big thing 
right here. There's a lot of small stuff still down in there, but I, I'm so impatient for this large item. It's a blanket! Oh, I'm so excited. It is still freezing where I live, and it is a blanket. Is it gonna look like this? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. You guys, it does. It looks like the picture. Oh, it is so soft. It's so cute. I don't even know if you can see that. Look at my cute blanket. I'm gonna put it in my lap. I'm like a little old lady in my little blanket on my lap. It's so soft. Oh, this is what it looks like, the whole thing. I don't even know if you could see what I showed. Ah, oh, the best is this. Oh, it says it in Picnown silicone pouch. Now this is a different one than my, there was a thing that had what cat was what. Okay, this little pouch is super cute. I don't know who my little purple cat, I had something earlier that showed me who all of the kitties were and somewhere I lost that. I found it. Okay, the purple one is called, I can't see what it says, it's too tiny. Uh, tell me you're old without telling me that you're old. Oh, but it's super cute. This one's got little cow spots and it's got a super cute little belly button and it's got brown ears. I love it. It's a little like coin purse, change purse. You could put, I don't know, you could put your feminine products in there. You could put your candy and I don't know what you put in yours. Put what you want in there, but it's so cute. And it, it is silicone, so they sent me a jar of dirt. What is this? They sent me a... A puta puta gummy, puta puta gummy, puta puta gummy slime. It's slime, squishy slime. I've never seen this particular kind of. I've seen a lot of their slime, but never this one. This is a picnic brand. It says pure slimy. How do you? How would you describe the slime, Doctor Squish? It's pure slimy. Uh. Actually, the first time today that my smelling has been totally worth. I hope it's not sticky. <gasps> it feels so good. Um, it smells amazing. This stuff does. It smells like some kind of awesome strawberry candy. And this, you guys, this is some good slime. Oh my god, this is like movie slime. You know what I'm saying? Like something they put like on characters in shows when they need to get ectoplasm. This is amazing. I don't know if I've ever had slime exactly quite like this here in America because we've got some really good slime. Don't get me wrong, but this one just feels a little different. It really does remind me of like <laughs> the stuff in, you know, you know the stuff in Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> Vigo the Carpathian <laughs> like under the city. Am I, am I, is that everybody too young to remember that? I don't know, but yeah. I'm scared I need to maybe put this in the toaster and start singing to it. Oh, I found another little overaction bunny. It is the exact same one. I'm not gonna open it up. <gasps> yes! Now, this is not my first one of these. I ordered this from Picnic a long time ago. Uh, it is a bubble tea. That's what I say. I say bubble tea. Depending on where you are, you say different things. I learned about bubble tea when I lived in Toronto. Every single day, I would go get bubble tea. And so I know that some of you, depending on where you are, call it just boba, but boba is the stuff in it. In, in Japan, they call it tapioca tea. Um, but this is supposed to be a bubble tea squishy. It's really pretty. It's got like this pearly liquid and the tapioca pearls, the boba. And this one's like pink and a, I know it doesn't maybe look pink, but there is one that's supposed to just be milk tea that's really brown. This one is not brown. It's got kind of a peachy, peachy sheen to it. Yeah, it says milk tea pink version two. So the, I have one that's like brown. It looks like real milk tea. This one's got a little, a little pinker. I love these. These are like the best calming squishy. Yeah, I love it. There's like, we're at the bottom of the bag, but there's still like 10 things left in here. Or so, there's like so much. What are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so cute. Whatever this is, it's hard. It's not a squishy, it's like hard plastic. And it's on a little, a little chain. It's like a little ornament thingy. It's like a little clear pignon with a little gold pignon inside. He's turning around backwards. He doesn't want you guys to see him. 
I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's one of those things I remember <laughs> back in my day <laughs> when we didn't have fun toys and I would like go to the beach or something and get a souvenir and it would be this thing that would like sit on like a little surfer sitting on a wave. This is a little gold kitty sitting on a wave. I don't know, it's just, it really is just a little charm for your bag or your purse. <gasps> oh, cute, you may pick up baby milk. Oh, it's adorable. This is not a squishy either. And it's kind of similar to what I just showed you. But look, you guys, it's this super cute little baby bottle. Look how cute it is. Guys, is that freaking cute or what? I think it's adorable. Well, since I got up that close to show you that one, let me get up close and look how cute that is. So those are actually really cute. They're not squishies, but this is a squishy. And it looks like it's the same ding dang cat as the other one, but a different position maybe. Ah, why do I keep doing it? <laughs> huh, okay. So this is the same as this, but you can see they're in a little different position. He's like laying on his tummy He's got the same exact smell. He's got such a cute little face. Oh, so cute. I like them a lot and I like his little, little blue star. He does have a really strong, really strong smell. Okay, cute. Oh, oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> so cute. Okay, you guys are gonna love this one. I know my squishy fans and I know you're gonna like this. This one looks like a stinking nail polish. How cute is that? Oh, it is a squishy. It is not like, get out of the frame. It's not like hard. It's like completely and totally squishy. And it's got, I don't know what those are, like Orbeez in it, but it looks like a little nail polish. Like how adorable. It smells like nail polish too, and that is not a good thing. We have another, it's, it's almost exactly like this one that I showed, that I showed earlier, except this one is, just a different shaped bottle. Luminous perfume is what it says. So same squishy, but just a different different bottle shape. And the last thing, oh cute. So I showed you the foif, the foif, uh, like cotton candy cloud slime earlier. And this is just a little, it's like a little ice pop, an ice pop full of foif. So that's actually kind of cute. It's, it's kind of a cute little, little dollop of slime, just double colors ice pop. I think that's adorable. Okay. That was cool. There was so much stuff. How many things came in there? If I'm counting correctly, I think I got 21 items and I only paid $25 <coughs> plus shipping for all of that. So if I had bought that in like Harajuku, that is so much more worth the money. Like that is, that is worth you don't understand how much all of that would have cost. That would have been very, this would have been well over a hundred bucks if I'd, have, if I'd have bought it. That was amazing. Okay, so this one here, actually it came in this shopping bag. This is what it looks like. They sell these all year round. So this is not like a special New Year's one like this was. And it's just kind of like a lucky bag. Um, like you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. I thought like I said, I think these cost $5, 500 yen. It has been previously opened, though not by me. It was opened in customs as it came through. We got a jar of foif. I got a jar of dirt. Oh, cute, oh my gosh. It is the tiniest little squishy, but it is a, a lip gloss. Actually, I'm gonna get it out of here so you guys can see it, because it is a really cute squishy. It is the teeniest little squishy, and it looks exactly like a little uh, tube of lip stuff. Lip stuff. Your, your basic lip stuff. Oh, I just threw the tag, but it is a uh, like lip gloss. Why couldn't I think? Why couldn't I think of lip gloss? I don't know. It's so stretchy, but it's full of gel and glitter. The only problem I'm having with this is that it's actually a little bit sticky, like a little tacky feeling. So it would inevitably like attract dirt and stuff. When you think of Japanese squishies, you think of metal punk. <gasps> oh, it doesn't smell like metal punk. Oh, this is like the classic Japanese squishy. This, if you have not been watching my channel ever before, or you don't know what I'm talking about, 
melonpang, which melon bread, is really just a super soft, sweet, yummy bread that's covered on the outside like with a crunchy cookie dough, like sugar cookie dough, and it's made like these little scores in it while it bakes. And so they say it kind of looks like a melon. I don't see it, but it doesn't matter because it's delicious. It doesn't taste like melons at all. So good. Oh my gosh. We had one here in the US from like a Asian store and um, it was ultra disappointing. It was like frozen and it had lemon taste in it. It was terrible. Blech. But I miss that. Ah! <laughs> you guys, look. It's so cute, but it's kind of, kind of cheap. I can tell. Oh boy. Okay. It's Minnie Mouse. It's a Minnie Mouse dango. It is Minnie, not Mickey. I was covering its bow. It's a Minnie Mouse dango. Like mochi on a stick is dango. Dango is like mochi, put on stick. <gasps> Minnie Mouse dango. That's really cute. Some more slime. It looks almost like this slime, but it's in a, like a little plastic keepsake container, more slime. And last is another one of these. So I got a similar one, but I actually like this one's colors a lot better than this one's colors. Although they're both super cute. So in the $5 bag, I got one, two, three, four, five items. I mean, you pay five bucks and you get really probably about at least $10, or I would say probably closer to like 12 or $13 worth of stuff. That They're both pretty good. Huh, that was so fun. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I was able to open Lucky Bags. I feel so happy. I hope you guys are happy. Leave me comments to tell me what of all that cool stuff was your very most favorite thing you saw in there. It was so good. All the stuff was so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I had to pick a favorite. Honest, honestly, if I had to pick a favorite, it's probably my blanket. <laughs> I'm like a little old lady. I love my blanket. It's a good blanket. You don't know. But I think a lot of you guys love the bubble tea ones. My TikTok followers love the bubble tea stuff. And uh, these guys are really cool. <laughs> Although the overaction rabbit was super funny too. It was good stuff. Definitely worth $25 <coughs> plus shipping. Uh, and then even the little bag, the five bucks ones, they were, they were good too for $5. They're awesome, awesome haul. Hope you guys had fun watching me open my Japanese lucky bag. I definitely feel luckier today than I did yesterday. Bye guys, I will see you sometime.